th there's very there's not many truly like if you put effort into the universe i think it's newton's it's newton's second law right equal and opposite force mm -hmm. people always say oh I, I wish i had something to work on you could work hard on anything it can be the most jackass thing you can work hard on i don't know whittling buildings we are, yeah <laughs> whittling twigs but if you truly work your ass off it's difficult for it to have a negative impact on your life maybe you'll end up with an instagram page the best instagram page on twig whittling and, and and who knows right my point is that it's very hard to find truly truly negative energy that's directed in a, in a, in a semi-positive direction it's hard to say i'm working my ass off at x and it's made my life worse mm. you know you're not you're not doing anything and and you're asking the question hoping i'm going to give you some magical answer that's going to allow you to be motivated forever but motivation isn't real everyone says this motivation is not real discipline's real i do not feel like training but i still train because I'm a disciplined individual. You don't get to go through life only doing the things you feel like doing. Do you know who gets to do that? Women. Be beautiful women. Beautiful women get to do what they feel like doing. As a man, you have to do the things you're supposed to do. Because what we said earlier is absolutely true. It's player versus player, my friend. Now, if I wake up, I've already got this massive head start over you in life. And nearly every genetic gift, plus all my finances, plus my network. And I wake up and I decide, even though I don't feel like working, I'm going to work my ass off and you wake up way down there, a peon, and you can't be bothered to work, what chance do you have against men like us? You don't stand a chance. You can't get the girl. We'll take the girl off you. We'll, we'll, we'll bankrupt your ass. We'll kick you out your house. You name it. You don't stand a chance. Now, if you're going to wake up and look in the mirror and understand that you're absolutely not only crushable, that you're a rabbit and that lions exist, and that's not going to motivate you to do something about it, then you're a lost cause. And there's, there's no point in asking us a question. You know exactly what you need to do. If you want to stay killable, then stay killable. But I can't live that way. I would refuse to live that way. It's a disgrace to my bloodline. It's a disgrace to my parents who struggled to raise me for me to be anything other than the best version of myself. That's honor. I have honor to my last name and to my, and to my ancestry. Mm. It would be disgusting for them all to fought saber-toothed tigers so I can wake my lazy ass up all day and ask on youtube how i can stop being a you understand where i'm coming from oh 100 so this is this is down to you my friend and and listen you may be feel fired up for 10 minutes after this little talk but you're not going to feel fired up forever you need to put systems in place you need to get disciplined and like justin says you need to get a, a, a atmosphere of people around you who are going to keep you accountable and not make it easy for you to continue to be a f nobody and then you're going to fix your life otherwise you're going to stay a nobody my team, it's not just about how we make money. It's also an entire mindset. I don't want to be the only scared one in the group. If me and my team, if me and my six closest friends are walking down the street and a couple guys came up to us with machetes, mm. I know they wouldn't be afraid. So now I'm not afraid. Now no one's afraid. Mm. Now, the guys, like, like, now the guys with the machetes oh, should fuck, be afraid. That's right. It's like an <laughs> army. It's like yeah. a gang, right? You have to have that mentality. So it's not just even about money. It's about your mm. entire life you create. If you're a person, if you're a man and you're out here and you go, you know what? Who do I want to be? I want to be strong and rich and brave and respected. Then I need friends who are strong and rich and brave and respected. That's what you need to do. If you're going to say, oh, I want to be these things, but I hang around with this guy because we play FIFA together, then you can stay a f And that is your decision. Stay a f I have no sympathy f I want to make this another thing clear that ends up on TikTok and everyone cries their eyes out. I don't give a solitary f if you want to stay at the bottom of the societal totem pole. If I'm going to ignore how I feel day after day so I can perform, regardless of whether I'm sad, happy, pissed off, tired. If I'm going to get up and work anyway when I'm tired, mm. how do you expect me to feel sorry for you because you didn't work when you were tired? If I don't care about my own emotions, I certainly don't give a solitary shit about yours. If you want to stay or stay one, good, it's fine. It's, uh, stay I have no sympathy for you. I don't care. What would you say the single thing was for you to go and grab life by the bollocks and go for it? Because something had to spark that. I was instilled with a duty for a very long time to honor my ancestors through achievement. And I was told from a very young age that the only thing your ancestors are interested in is achievement. Even to this day, when I do podcasts, people repeatedly talk about my father. If I wasn't successful, he wouldn't be spoken about anymore. He, lost, he died nine years ago mm. and he was a good chess player, mm. but no one's really that interested in chess. The reason he lives on is because I'm mm. so monumentally successful that people are interested in my origin story and he is mentioned. The reason I will live forever is because my son will be so monumentally successful that they'll talk about how he could have been such a perfect specimen of man, how he was <laughs> raised, and they will mention me. If you give a about your ancestry and if you give a 
about your family and you're not a selfish person and you want them to exist out in the ether for reality, for, for the eternity of reality, it is your duty to be successful. That's why I got dad to start the YouTube channel because it's kind of commemorating you forever. People Completely. can look at that. Am I on my way? <laughs> <laughs> but, not yet. 100 years yeah, left, bro. You've got loads yeah. of time left. But yeah, no, it's always there for people to look at and it's yeah. like that version of my dad that I always saw, you know, and Completely. I wanted other people to experience that. Completely. So if you love your family mm. and you love your last name and you're proud of yourself, mm. then you have a duty to be massively monumentally successful to show homage to your ancestors. Mm -hmm. I find it amazing there are people out here today who are gonna sit and say, oh, I'm sad, I'm too depressed, I don't wanna work hard. There, do you understand that only 200 years ago there were peasants out working a field, starving, mm. surviving the Black Death, surviving the plague, struggling to exist just to reproduce so that 200 years later you can be the end of their bloodline for you mm. to sit on your ass and do mm. nothing. Like, well, you're, you're your entire bloodline of your entire mm. ancestry. You owe these people things. You mm. must, they went through hell for you to exist. You have a debt, you have a duty mm. to pay. You have to be the best possible version of yourself. And the same to God. God loves people who try. God loves people who work hard. Mm. It's amazing if you try your very best all the time, what God will give you. Mm. He'll give it to you, anything you want. Mm. If you actually try, not, not convincing yourself you try, actually try, mm. they're different things. But yeah, I was instilled with this because from a young age, my dad said, you're a Tate. And Tate's are the, the greatest people on the face of the planet. And there's gonna be a day I'm not here anymore. And they're gonna talk about me because of how fantastic you are. So go do your job. And I said, yes, sir. And here I am. Mm. And it's a similar thing to what you said. Like every Tilbury has to do better than the last. It, he does. And you will. Yeah. And that's how it should be. That's absolutely. Because that's family legacy. Mm. You know, they went through the Middle Ages. I watched a, a, a video on this just recently. And the Middle Ages lasted all the Dark Ages for about 400 years. No one progressed. Nothing progressed. Yeah. They lived the worst. And I'm going to swear this life for 400 years and exactly as you say just reproducing so that you can be on this planet at this time now completely, completely. and that's got to be you got to respect that you got to respect it i wouldn't want to have gone through it absolutely and and no bugattis back then <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> and and like you said about the, the each tilbury being better than the last that's mm. exactly the way to look at it that's how mm. life should be you should have a duty to your ancestry and my father taught that to me and his taught it to him and it's disappearing mm. from society it used mm. to be like i am andrew son of emory it was all about who you're yes. son of mm. yes exactly. right and it's all vanishing mm. now yeah but you, you have a legacy you can build and mm. And I, I love the fact that when I was growing up, when my dad walked into a chess tournament, people were scared because his name was said and they were mm. fearful of his last name. And now people are fearful of the last name again because of me and they will be again because of my son. And this is, this is the beauty of life as a man. And uh, one of the most terrifying, but also gratifying things of, of life as a man is that we're all born relatively valueless. I don't think women are born that way. A woman, mm. if she's born, especially if she's attractive, has an innate value. People just want her no matter what. Mm. But as a man, if you're not an important man, nobody gives a fuck about you and they're mm. never gonna care. So you have to build yourself from the ground up and that's scary for a lot of people, but it's also a massive opportunity. You mm. can decide if you wanna be a famous musician or a nice sensitive poet or a painter mm. or a kickboxing world champion or a businessman. You get to decide on all the different characters mm. in the video game. You can choose who do I want to be? And mm. then if you actually try, mm. actually try, you mm. can become it. Isn't that amazing? You can wake up and go, you know what? I want to be this kind of guy. Mm. I knew who I wanted to be. I wanted to be the dude pulling up in the Lambo three in the morning, gets out. Everyone's like, who is this big, strong, rich dude? I wanted to be that man. So I became him. Mm. And, and if you don't want that, if you want to go be a, a, a musician and play guitar and get a bunch of chicks mm. and chill in Bali and smoke weed, whatever. Go, you can choose your yeah. character and build it. I think the biggest problem is people don't want to choose. They, they don't know what they want to do, you know, and they can't figure out how to do it. That and also they think they've got to know everything about what they want to do mm. before they can even start. So like when I went into business, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And most don't. Yeah. Most are winging it yeah. to a certain degree. Oh, yeah, and completely. you learn as you go. That's how you do it. You don't have to know. You, no one knows everything. So how are you ever going to know enough to start? But the school uh, system teaches you, like, if you get something wrong, there's only one right answer rather than lots of correct answers. Well, the educational system is designed to make people into slaves, which is oh, yeah. Yeah, part of the propaganda. It really grinds my gears. <laughs> it's, it's a massive waste of time. And uh, so that's part of it. But you're right. And there's also some universal constants. Like, if you... A lot of people don't have the ability to understand the compounding effect of doing the right thing time after time. Even mm -hmm. if you start a new business, you don't know what to do. I guarantee if you're always on time, if you're a builder and you're <laughs> always on time, take the basic 
Just be on time. Yeah. Over time, you may you may think, oh, I'm just on time. No one notices. Trust me. Across ten years, that's the difference between being a successful builder yeah. and not being a successful builder. Yeah. Well, the thing is, we expected you to be late today, but you were early. <laughs> so it yeah. just shows. Even when you reach that level of success, yeah. you still respect people's time. Completely. Which is just brilliant. stick to the absolute basics and and do the right thing and do mm. know what you're supposed to do. And this is why I have so little sympathy for people who go, oh, I'm trying to make it and I can't because I think they're lying to me and they're lying to themselves. Early, early is on time. On time is light and light is unforgivable. Completely agree. Completely Finished. agree. Absolutely. And it's these basic things that even, even in the modern world, it's amazing how people are, people are failing. So yeah, it's, it's interesting, but it, it is, it's, it's a very fun commentary. And, it, and I read a lot of emails. I got a lot of emails and a lot of messages and a lot of people like, bro, I'm trying my best. And my answer is simply, no, you're not. Mm. I, I really don't think they're trying their best. I, maybe I come across and I seem non-sympathetic, but I'm from a council estate in Luton. I'm now a billionaire. And it's because I actually tried my best. Do they not just not know what their best is? Do they, do they, do, are they in the quagmire of, of everyone being like them? And they think they're doing a little bit better than everyone else. But you know what's funny? What's funny is this. If you were to take somebody who says, I'm doing my best, I'm really trying. And you were to get uh, an exact schedule of their last week mm -hmm. and find all the times they've wasted <laughs> time, you'd say, look, you've wasted time, wasted time, wasted time, wasted time. You know what's actually amazing? Most of those people are not even self-reflective enough to go, you're right, I'm not trying my best. Mm -hmm. You know what they'd say? Well, I have to rest sometimes. Mm -hmm. well, I, well, I have to have a social life. Well, I, they'd be so arrogant. Mm -hmm because they're arrogant. I had to do my Facebook. Yeah, yeah. No matter, you'd even show them, here's where you've, mm. well, you know, I have to, oh, you're crazy. Mm. And then they go back to being a loser. That, that's, the, that's the amazing thing. You can drag them to the water, but, but they, they won't drink, drink it. <laughs> it's just beautiful. They, they always feel like they're doing everything rather than like a successful person feels like they're not doing enough. You nailed it. They have no self accountability and you're mm. right. A, a lazy person thinks he's working too hard and a successful person thinks he isn't working hard enough mm. and we're doing 20 times the work they are. And mm. we're like, oh, I could have done more. I could have done this. Oh, I missed that today. Can't mm. miss that again. Oh, I should have taken that call. I should have flown there. I should have, that's mm. you know, we have guilt about it. They don't mm. give us solitary. And even if you pointed it out to them, they'd sit there and go, oh yeah, and they'd make some excuse for it. It's, it's the brutal arrogance of people. It's truly brutally arrogant. I encourage absolutely everybody who finishes this podcast to go to your website and learn something. You should go and educate yourselves. These people are sitting here and they're teaching you. You've watched the entire thing. You understand there's knowledge. Are you just going to turn it off <laughs> and just go back to being a dumb? <laughs> and, and that's, then, that's a great call to action, isn't it? But yeah, it's it true. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. It's like, if you're not going to take any action at all mm. after two hours of being mm. educated, then you're going to just stay on. Yeah, 100%. That's the reality.